Hi everyone, this is Bonus and today's video is all about wine, right? So here in this video, I'm gonna explain to you that what exactly wine does to our food, how it really contributes, you know, flavor, enhancement, and uh, you know, like uh, aroma, and a lot more things actually, even though tenderizing, as a tenderizing it works, right? How exactly it is, like how does it really works? Every single thing in detail, right? Don't forget to watch till end. You'll be have a complete understanding about the wine and how it works. Clear? Here we go and start the session. Wine actually contributes to enhancing the flavor, right? When it comes to wine, what exactly it does it actually contributing to enhance the flavor and also the characteristics of our various dishes. Clear with this? Contributing to enhancing the flavor. The main work of the wine is to enhancing the flavor and also characteristics of a various dishes, right? Let's figure out the first one, which is all about flavor enhancement. Wine actually contains a complex mix of flavor and aroma. Those are, here we go, one is the fruitiness, second, we have acidity, right? And the third, we have a hint of oak and earthiness. How actually oak and earthiness? Because when it comes to wine, it's actually been fermented in an oak barrel. That is the reason it has a flavor of that oak and that earthiness. Clear. That is where exactly we get this because of the wine matured is done in an oak barrel. Clear. That is the reason. And it has a fruitiness, a sweetness, a hint of a sweetness and also acidity. Clear. This is where exactly helps to all I like gives you a flavor enhancement when it comes to wine. I mean, when we add wine to our dish. Clear with this? So remember this, fruitiness, acidity, and the hint of oak and earthiness. Clear? Here we go, deglaze. You know what exactly the deglaze means? Used to deglaze pans after sauteing or searing meat. Liquid helps to lift the dissolve and the browned bit. Browned bit, why I'm saying here, the residue which has been stick. I mean, uh, anything you are cooking, right? Some of you things got stick to the pan, the bottom of the pan, right? To deglaze, to remove that, what in, what we actually generally do in India, that we add a lot of stock and try to dilute it and to remove everything, right? And we generally add in our gravy or we just keep it for our making sauce, right? And in dry thing, what we actually do, we scrape it up. And that is one of the best flavor. I mean, that is one portion which I will love to eat. I mean, personally, I say, I love that portion to eat, you know, which is stuck in the bottom of the pan. So to remove that bottom of the pan, here we use wine. That is what exactly the deglazing is all about. Liquid helps to lift the dissolved brown bit. So font, right? Stuck to the bottom of the pan. Simple as that. A pan, right? We are doing a meat searing. After searing, the residue, which is stick on the bottom of the pan, right? To remove that, right? To scrape it out, we use wine. Clear with this? And that actually helps to, because you know, the wine has acidity and those all things actually helps to remove a bit right the brown bread which is there in the pan when we remove it we generally use wine and that is like beautiful i must tell you that you must try if you never have done deglaze deglaze your pan and taste it, it it's just amazing i mean that is one of the heart of the dish i must say. it's the most flavorful is the deglaze stuff clear yeah we give the third one it's all about the tenderizing acidity in wine can help break down the tough fiber in the meat. You get my point? Tenderizing, how come? Because the acidity which is present in the wine helps to break down the fiber. Which fiber? The tough one. I mean, I have written over here the tough word to the extreme level, you know. This helps to break down the tough fiber which is there in the meat, right? And makes more tender, especially useful for marinating meats before cooking. Because of this, it actually breaks down the tough fiber and also it makes the meat tender and that is why exactly we use wine. Clear? And also marinating meat before cooking. What it does, it just tenderizes the meat in the less time. Clear? Next we have is all about aroma, right? 
Wine can add depth to the aroma of a dish. A wine can add depth to the aroma of the dish. When wine reduces during cooking, its aromatic compounds are concentrated, enhancing the overall sensory. See, the thing is, why we actually, I mean, what exactly wine works here when it comes to aroma? When we add wine to the aromatic compounds, the elements that we generally use or spices, right? It actually, this concentrates these things, right? And that helps to overall enhancing the aroma, the flavor, everything. Color of wine also can add an appealing hue to sauce and dishes, right? The color of the wine also helps to add appealing hue to the sauce and dishes. So wine is not about just uh, fruitiness, acidity, organ earthiness, but these are also some of few points that exactly it enhance the dish in this way. Clear? So next page. Next is balance and acidity. Acidity in wine can help to balance the richness of a certain dishes, right? The acidity in the wine can help to balance the richness. It is very, very creamy or something like that. So it can literally cut down and can just make a little subtle, you know, it's about some harmonious, that's what we say, like just to balance it, right? Here we go, particularly those which are fatty or creamy, right? Richness always like means, this means fat, for sure, clear with this, right? Creating a harmonious balance of flavor on a palate, as simple as that, clear with this, this is what exactly is all about balancing, what the richness clear next we have a cultural and regional authenticity right wine is a key ingredient that adds authenticity to the dish in its origin clear so wine is a key ingredient that adds authenticity to the dish origin so as i said already italian and french it's more of like they use and the yes exactly it is this is what is kind of amended for them to adding a wine in the dish because it actually i mean uh, it it contribute a lot you know as we can see here that it has this flavors adding up to your dishes right and then deglazing which is a perfect perfect thing then tenderizing the meat helping i mean it just helps a lot to break down the tough fiber then we have a aroma right then it also contribute to color and here we go richness cut down the richness so this is something that will be uh, generally use in italian or i can say in france generally they use uh, wine as their key ingredient right and that is what exactly the regional and authenticity right used in various italian french and mediterranean here we go in mediterranean also they use wine recipe to capture the regional flavor we said earlier as i said earlier that in italy and france have the best uh, kind of a you know like a, a soil or you can say atmosphere right to to develop or you can say like you know, the perfect for vineyard right so that's the reason they have a really nice uh, understanding of using wine that which dish what kind of a wine we should use it so yes we do really have a red wine white wine right and this also has a three or four varieties that we generally use for you know for uh, making dishes even the white also has a four to five different types of wine and this also has their own characteristics i mean in this also we have a dry and sweet clear in this also we have a dry and sweet we'll figure it out which one we'll use for to tenderize meat which red or white which one should we use and if we use red then which one dry or sweet again right so this is what exactly i'm going to share in my next part two video in the wine right for cooking so those are i'm going to share in the next video about the wine about red wine and white wine in detail clear so this is what exactly wine we generally use in italian and french dishes and mediterranean i mean if you're not adding wine in this cuisine then you cannot feel that authenticity food you know i mean you cannot feel like that you're having some french or italian food so that important it is to having a wine on this particular cuisine i mean it's totally incomplete if you're not adding wine clear 
So this is what exactly all about wine. Second part is coming soon, which is I'm going to explain you about the different different wine that we generally use and for what reason in detail, right? Don't forget to subscribe and yes, press the bell icon so you'll get a notification whenever coming in next video. Uh, yes, I'll be adding the new video soon. Clear? Here we go. It's all about wine. <laughs> Bye-bye.